Here we are in, uh, what is this? Oh, St. Peter's Square. St. Peter's St. Peter's Peter Square. Peter Square. Yeah. There's the Basilica. Uh, there it is, right behind us. Yeah, we were just in there earlier. Here's a big obelisk, probably stolen from Egypt. Here's a fountain. And then up at the top, you can see all those different saints and stuff. All around. The world's tiniest country. Here we are inside the Colosseum. On the stage. Some reconstruction of the seating. Down in the pits. Here we are in Pompeii. The ruins of Pompeii. A lot of people. You'll walk into this building here. Buried under 20 feet of ash. 20 meters of ash? That sounds right. Here we are on the Amalfi Coast. What? Is it? Yeah? Okay, cool. Yep. I went down yep. to San Diego for a day. Okay. Little uh, houses and such. Anaheim for a day. And uh, downtown Los Angeles. Little wall of houses. Everyone built up on the cliff. Mountains full of mozzarella cheese <laughs> and uh, boats full of limoncello. <laughs> Here we are further down on the Mal uh, on the Amalti coast. Yeah, I think that's it. In the city of Positano, a s about a small city here on the beach in a cove, but the city is uh, built up on this hill or in this valley. It's like practically built vertically. All the streets are super, super thin, zigzagging. They go all kinds of places. There's, uh, there's some of the city there, some of the beach back here. And you can see uh, a church right, uh, right here in the background. And uh, supposedly the streets were all built very confusedly. Very zigzags, they don't really lead a lot of places in order to uh, make it so that pirates would have a very confusing time getting attacking here and so that uh, they could trap them in dead end alleys and pour boiling water on them. So, good times. Hello, we have made it to uh, our hotel for tonight. We are on the Amalfi Coast again, or still, in uh, the city or town of Sorrento. And uh, we just got to our room here, and it's sunset. It's quite a nice sunset. Let's see if I can get the sunset in there. Yeah, it's quite beautiful there. This is our room here. We are uh, sort of out on the, we've got the nice sort of hillside view. Uh, that's the backyard, there's a little pool over there. And uh, here's our nice room, which with uh, one of its best features which is that our baggage has finally arrived. There's Marty's baggage, there's my baggage, so we no longer uh, have to live out of our carry-on bags. But uh, as you might notice, I'm wearing a new shirt here because we went to a store in uh, downtown Rome and got a couple pairs of clothing here just in case our baggage never arrived, but luckily it has returned, so uh, that's always nice. And uh, yeah, so now we're uh, just chilling out for a little bit and then heading to dinner.
now. Uh, Venice. <laughs> Bunch of uh, houses and thousands and other tiny boats. Here we are in uh, a square somewhere in Venice. <laughs> in I don't Venice. Know. In, I don't know where. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> Hello. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> and here's uh, the square itself. Here's a big statue of someone. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> in the church. It is a big statue. And over there is a canal somewhere. You can't really see it, but it's there. Here we are in uh, Milan at the Duomo, Duomo, a uh, large cathedral there. Got some gelato. Marty and them are sitting down on the bench right there on the stairs. We got here pretty early in the morning. And it was uh, almost no one here. And now it has gotten quite a bit more crowded. There's a, there's a statue right there. And uh, yeah. There's the Galleria, indoor sort of walking area. The world's first shopping mall. And that's about it. Nice and sunny. Here we are in Pisa of famous Leaning Tower fame. There it is. Also, in the same uh, big square as the tower is a basilica and the world's biggest baptism hut. I don't remember what the real name for it is. It's pretty busy, you can tell. A lot of people uh, doing the whole like uh, pretend to hold up the tower picture. Very popular. We have arrived in Florence, Florence, Italy, uh, and this is the uh, view out our window. Nice little uh, apartments over there, some things, looks pretty green. You'll notice it is raining right now. This is our first real uh, day or location where it has been raining. We are here in Venice and uh, we are on Ponte Vecchio which is a bridge, as you can see from uh, it being out over the water here. And Ponte Vecchio means old bridge, very literal. And it is a large bridge on which are built a bunch of shops here. As you can see, right now it's mostly gold shops, it seems, jewelry of some sort. Yep, quite an interesting uh, bridge. Huh? Here we are in a wine cellar. A wine cellar in Tuscany, yeah, in a castle. Oh, some giant bottles, giant barrels of wine. They make wine and uh, olive oil as well. Mm. These are even tinier ones. They're all oval. Mm. Here we are uh, heading out of Florence. We are up on a hill here at the Plaza di Michelangelo. You can see the city in the background there. There's the uh, tower of some sort. There's the Duomo and the Campanile. And uh, if you get past all the souvenir stalls here, there's also a large reproduction of uh, the David. Oh, where is it? There it is. Yes. Somewhat larger than life size. Here we are at uh, Siena in Tuscany where Marty studied for some time and we are on the corner of the uh, Piazza del Campo the plaza of camping no the plaza of the campo which is right there that's the campo and uh, that's the piazza you can see behind me there 
and uh, this is where every year the races, the Palio, uh, a horse race between the 21? 17 districts of the city is raced. Uh, quite the spectacle, I hear. Yeah, and here's Marty. Yay, there she is. Perfecto. Here we are again, Sienna. You can see from here, we are sort of on the top of a hill. You can see the uh, Duomo again from way back. Ah, you can see the medieval development pattern. Lots of little tall buildings all crunched up together inside the castle walls. Very nice. Today is our final night in Rome. We're heading out <laughs> tomorrow morning. We are uh, having our farewell dinner here on the top of uh, a hotel somewhere in Rome. In Rome. It's, uh, can't really see where we are, but it's right near, yeah, there it is. It's right near the Borges. There's the sunset. Ah, uh, yes, there's the sunset. <laughs> it's right near a uh, large public garden set up by the Bor Borghese. Borghese family. Let's see if we can get out to a better shot here. Lots of seagulls flying around as Rome is quite close to the sea. There's the public garden. A very large garden. Ooh. One of these uh, grand old things. And it's uh, got a ton of these umbrella trees that are quite popular here in Rome. <laughs> 